Good afternoon, lovely people. Welcome to another vlog. And as you can see, I am out and about again. I'm actually in the city centre of Birmingham. I meet up with a friend today. We're going to do lunch, brunch kind of thing. I haven't seen her for a while. And um, her train's late, so I thought, let me stop off at a place where I shouldn't even really be eating at while buying from Starbucks. But I didn't know where else to go. So, yeah. So far, it's been a... It's been a busy weekend. Yesterday, Friday, which was Friday, I was editing all day from 11 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. I was editing for The Diary of Naomi. And, yeah, it takes a very long time to, to edit talking head videos. It takes at least 12 hours altogether. Vlogs take around seven hours. So I'm trying to vlog as much for this channel as much as I can. And yeah, do my um, videos for the Diary of Naomi. So as you can see, I'm in the UK and I've been meaning to talk about this. I'm actually at a point where most of you should know, if you're new to this channel, I am from the UK and I moved to Ghana in 2018 and then I moved back to England then we had lockdown during lockdown because the borders were closed I went to Tanzania from Tanzania I went back to Ghana and I've been in Ghana ever since um, I then was in a relationship where I was meant to get married I didn't get married so within that time of the breakup I was in England that was, that was last year. And then last year, my uncle passed away, so I ended up staying in England longer. Went back to Ghana, and then I came back to England in June. I've been here ever since. I've still got my apartment in Ghana at the moment. That's not almond milk. That is not out. Is it? The taste is weird. Oh, it is almond milk. The taste is really strong. Yeah, so. Yeah. So. Yeah, so. When I went back to. When I was in a relationship, I was travelling a lot and. I was meant to get married, so obviously we we're going to be planning to live together and stuff like that. But because that didn't happen, when I went back to Ghana in February, I had to get my own place. And going back to Ghana, I like, let me rewind. When I went back to Ghana, prior to that, I, when I was in the UK, I, um, what's that on my bed? I applied for a job in Dubai but then what I thought to myself I had all my stuff still in Ghana and I thought to myself let me go back to Ghana and give it one last try even though I had the job and I, did, I ended up not taking the job I'm going back to Ghana but since going back and coming back to the UK I've had like a different mind frame like I've still got I've still got a lot of things that I want to do and as much as I love Ghana I feel like at the moment, like I was saying before, it's too overpriced. So, I'm trying to think about what I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep a place in Ghana, just in case. And then just, or I'm just going to move to Dubai. The only reason I want to go to Dubai is that, you know, if I wanted to get a job, I could get a job there. Um, I don't know. Ghana, I feel like it's still very, very... Still got a lot of got a lot of growing to do, and sometimes it's really hard to navigate in Ghana because the people just see us as money bags. There, just feel like we've got made of money, so they just charge us them so much. It's so extortionate. I'm still I'm in two minds. I'm going to speak to my friend about it when I meet her today. This doesn't taste right.
Yeah, so I was trying to figure that out my whole life right now. Like, I've gone full time into content creation at the moment. So I'm doing this, my vlogging channel and my other channel. And I've also set up my website, which is a diver name, where I do like webinars and stuff like that. Webinars, um, workshops, I sell like merchandise and stuff like that on there. So I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of things to work on, but when the, the internet went down in Ghana a couple of months ago, well, about four months ago now, it was really hard to navigate. And that's what made me realise that even though that can happen in any country, being there alone, I didn't have access to money or anything like that. It was really, really hard. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want to be at the moment. I do want to be in Africa, but maybe Ghana's not the place because I feel like people are focused on just money, making money any way that they can. And I don't know, I don't know. But other than that, I am in such a good place. I'm, such a, I'm in such a good place. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful. I'm grateful. Like, in regards to my career, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm going. I know what I want. That is fine. It's just, I don't want to be full time in the UK, but I would like to have an abode here, probably in London. And then I want to have a place in Dubai. And then once I've got the money, I will build somewhere in Africa. Definitely, 100%. But I don't know if it's Ghana anymore. I don't know if I've fallen out of love with it. I don't know. I don't know if I've fallen out of love with it. doesn't have the same feel anymore. Just doesn't. Just doesn't have the same feel. I used to love Ghana, but I don't know if it's become very samey samey. Like, I don't know. I just don't know what I can't put my finger on it, but there's just something. And a lot of people are feeling the same. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But let's see, eh? Let me show you my outfit the other day. I've got um, this blazer with these jeans, this bag. apply my lipstick after drinking that drink. It's all gone.
Hi peeps, so it's a completely different day now. It's now Thursday and I'm getting ready to go to Manchester. So I've just come into Primark because I'm going to be doing a video for my other channel, The Diary of Naomi, where I'm going to be, um, it's like a sleepover kind of video, answering questions about different things. So I just need to come in here to get a nice pair of pyjamas to wear for that video. So I'm just going to get my coach in a bit. I thought, let me just come in here quickly and get some pyjamas. I'm thinking what colour to get. I want something simple, really. Probably something pink. Hmm. I need to hurry up and go and get my coach. I can't even take too long. these colours are nice like a champagne that would be nice let me show you something like this what then it doesn't look like they've got the bottoms I've got shorts a champagne colour would be nice though I've only got the nighty Oh, actually, they've got the trousers. No, they're not the same. I've got these random trousers and random... Oh, it's like trousers and a vest top. I don't want a vest top. Or maybe this one. It's £22 for the... £22 just for a set. I don't know about... I might get this one. Oh, it's, tw oh, it's £22 for the whole set. Probably get this nice champagne colour to match my. I wonder if that would be a good enough size. Small, that would be fine for me, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. So that's a, that's the pajamas I want to get. I'm going to try and go and find some accessories now as well. That's what I want. Some accessories. I just need some rings or something. Some I want a chain, but these are only cheap, cheap chains, but the silver do you want gold but they don't have it so I bought some pajamas and now I'm walking to the coat station Woo! it's like half 12 half 11 coach is at 12 o'clock I like to get there I haven't even eaten or anything that's the problem so I did want to get something to eat, but I don't even know if that's going to happen now. Because time has just gone really fast. So, I'm literally going to Manchester to just so I can do some content. And I'm also going to be meeting up with one of my friends who was living in Ghana as well. Now she's moved back to the UK. So I'm going to be doing that today. Woo! I'm going to go downstairs with this case. What food? But everywhere is just long. I don't want to queue up, but then I don't want to be hungry.
it's hot in here, but obviously the air con's not on. I managed to buy a um, sandwich from Starbucks and a cookie and some water. Um, I probably won't even eat again until it's time to go out this evening because I literally need to get there, set up and record. That's what I need to do. So, yeah. I don't think I'll be doing much eating until later on. But yeah, I'm just going to go there. I've got two, I want to record at least three videos because at my mum's house I don't really have the space or the backdrop that I want. And I'm going back to Ghana next week, so once I go there I'm going to do loads of, um, I'm going to do a lot of, I want to do a lot of um, recording and stuff. Do a lot of content. So I've got loads of stuff backed up when I come back to England. So yeah, I decided I'm definitely going to go to Ghana next week, but I'm definitely going to come back to England as well and probably work work a bit more, earn some more money because it's not about the struggle life. It's not about the struggle life, and money goes really fast in Ghana. So I'm going to keep my apartment on for another six months and just see what happens at the end of that six months. And then I'll take it from there, really. But that's my plan so far. I ain't booked a return ticket back, but I'll probably be out there for about 10 days or something. Let's just see how it goes, really. I got on so, yeah, but this coach is hot. Once it starts, it should get a bit warm, cooler. But it's really hot at the moment. And like I said, I'm going for dinner with my friend later on. So we can catch up because she used to live in Ghana as well. In a family home, my mum's house. And even she's left. She's left and come, like, come back to England to work and stuff. It's not easy. But it's, no, I shouldn't say it's not easy. That's, a, that's not um, very positive. But, you know, you have to be well set and have a good income when you're living abroad. You really do. So yeah, I'm so excited to be in Manchester. I love Manchester. Absolutely love it. Like I'm gonna be going there at the end of the month with my friend for a night as well. I'm gonna go to an event, but I love Manchester. So let's go to Manchester. So I've arrived in Manchester, and I'm just walking. Oh gosh, my hotel. Luckily, I'm central, so it's not too far from the coach station. That's good. That's one of the good things. Well, I suppose if you're staying in the city centre, everything is central. Oh, this case is so annoying. It keeps on falling off. Yeah. So I'm just walking to the hotel. Literally, I was literally on the coach reading through my scripts for my YouTube videos that I have to record when I get there. I'm literally going to get in there, change up, and start recording straight away. I've got no time to be messing about. This is the road that I need to go down. There's my phone. I was actually going to catch an Uber. Oh, oh I'm going to carry on. Turn down to Prince Street. Oh. So I was going to catch an Uber, but then. But then, when I looked at the price, it was going to look at like three pounds something. So I thought, oh. For it to be coming up at three pounds something, it must be close. So I put it into Google Maps, and it said it was three minutes and something away. So I thought, you know what? Let me just walk it. I haven't been, I haven't been to um, the gym today, so let me get some steps in. Just this road, because that side's too narrow. Yeah, it's just literally, I was on the coach, 
just reading my scripts over. That's all I was doing on the coach. So it's my friend, just raging like a girl's evening on Saturday. And then reading through my scripts just so that it's fresh in my head and all that stuff. Well, I still write scripts. Oh my gosh. I still write scripts in that, but I'm trying to get to a point where I suppose you, you have to have a script, you have to it kind of direct your videos and make them make sense. I think that trying to do it without a script, it just won't make sense. It's kind of like storytelling, isn't it? So, this the road, yeah, Prince Street. So, yeah. I think I'm nearly here. I think I'm nearly here. And I am hungry. I've got half a sandwich left. The sandwich I bought was disgusting. Heck no, it is. It's these bumpy bumpy. I if this is a hotel. Oh no, there it is, I think. I think it's that red building there. Got a Starbucks got the canal just there so that wasn't a hotel so I'm still walking I've got like five minutes to go so let's see oh, oh gosh the thing is right oh this is annoying I don't know why it keeps on falling off the case the thing is I'm only going for one night, but because I've got to bring all the recording stuff, it makes my cases extra heavy. I've got my laptop, I've got my lighting, I've got my tripods, batteries, plugs, all sorts going on. So it always makes, it's always like I'm always traveling heavy with literally my equipment. And at my hotel, I'm not meant to check in till three, but hopefully should be ready. I don't understand these hotels. They let you check in at three, then you've got to check out at 11. You get less than like 24 hours in the damn place. You know, and I want to charge so much. Oh my gosh. This is super annoying. Mm. Super annoying, super annoying. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Robinson. That's all good? Yeah. Perfect. How many nights are you going to stay? One. One night. I'll deal with so far. Fine, thank you. Yeah. You we'll have a full camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh.
Oh, thanks. yeah. Thank you very much. Amazing dissertations, including the breakfast as well. Okay. Uh, the breakfast time tomorrow is a half six to 11 in the morning. In the so, well, yeah, of course. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, have a free buffer. Is there any chance you, you don't car parking down there? No, I don't have a car. No problem. What's the dinner? Oh, we, we actually like to offer the three course dinner as well. Okay. That is the discount price. It's twenty pound, and you can get a three course me meal like at the restaurant. But also, we have a la carte menu over there as well. Okay. It's slightly cheaper than the usual price for this set course menu. But you can order a la carte as well. What's on the menu for the the three course? What's on the menu for this? We have some like the variety of the three course menu. Okay. Yes, yeah, quite British, British like this yeah. Asian stuff as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is this one course? three one? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. So, oh come on here. So I decided to, my, my dinner was, my breakfast was included, then I had a free course meal for 20 pounds. So literally I paid 135 pounds for the room, dinner, free course meal and breakfast. So I can't really complain. I meant to meet my friend, but if I go back with her, I might just have a drink and then come back and eat dinner or something like that. Let's do my card. That's it. You can see that. So I am this way. This is the bathroom. It's okay. The room's quite basic actually. Just a table there. There's the bed, bedside cabinet. So high, it's definitely better. But it's a high, isn't it? And there I am. <laughs> hey, peeps. So I've just finished recording one video and I've got to record another one. I don't even know how long it took me. It was about the seven habits of a high value woman. So now I'm going to record my second video, which is the key decisions that successful women make. So... This is my second video, then I record the last one later on, which is more of a casual vibe. So I just had to do my lip gloss again. I need to get something to for my face, you know, to make my face look, not get oily. I need to go to get something. And I'm back in brown and glove. Oh my gosh, I'll put on the fan, it's cold. Oh, is it dead? Oh, so luckily, the plug's close. Oh gosh, it's cold. I'm gonna heat up the room, but I feel like cold air coming out. I hate the fact that this room is here. Oh, I've got to do a... I've got to do a thumbnail. You know it's creeping up on me this frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body you make some kind of So, I haven't recorded a video for such a long time. I'm now in Manchester recording a video. I'm, doing, I'm about to start my second one. Recording is long. The last video took me about and now I'm so, and that is the eight habits of becoming a high value woman. So that will be coming out on Sunday. And then I'm doing my second video, which is um, the key decisions that su successful women make. So yeah, I need to get onto it. But don't forget to go to my channel, The Diver of Naomi and YouTube and subscribe. Subscribe now. What are you waiting for? Because you guys like to watch, we like, don't like to subscribe. So go and subscribe now. Mwah.
is creeping up on me This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body last one took long to do so I'll see how long this one takes but do you say you're going to the gym or something um yeah um I don't even know what to do because I don't even know Manchester like that to be honest but um I don't know what to say let me just get this video finished so what is it that propels some women to extraordinary success and no it's not luck and it's not magic either. It comes down to decision making. Welcome to the Diary of Naomi. And this video is about the seven decisions that successful women make. So I'm in the restaurant. I feel like I'm going to have something to eat. Here first. Let's just sit. Let's just sit. Let's just sit here. Oh dear, I'm freezing. I've been sitting in the room. I'm sitting in the room with no heat on and it feels like it's gone into my bones the heat the coldness my feet are frozen it's like i'm shivering oh. i need to try and warm up my friend i meant to be going to meet my friend but i don't know if i'm going to go out because i'm cold i need to message her thank you Oh, on the table. Oh. <laughs> There's no floor on the table. Oh, <laughs> any of them? <laughs> um, so the soup today is carrot soup. Okay. Uh, any allergies at all? No. No worries. And um, would you like some water for the table? Um, have some still water. Yeah, like, of course. Like, like bottle water. Bottle water. No worries. Yeah, that's fine. So. The the starter is season, seasonal soup. I might get that to warm you. We've got Asian style vegetables, samosas, and sweet onion rolls with sweet chili and sriracha. We've got smooth chicken liver pate and toasted artisan baguette. For the main, they've got mm. cauliflower and kale cheese burger, beef burger. Bangers and mash, I'm going to eat four. <laughs> Hanging lamb kebab, folded flatbread, house salad, and mini yogurt. Let's see if we've got any alternatives for all them. So if I don't want a kale burger, and then I've got, to finish, I've got cheesecake, chocolate truffle brownie, or sticky toffee pudding, and you know, ice cream. Isn't that sweet? Desserts have to be sweet. Please do not. I always get the cheesecake though. For that one. I'll see what they can do about the main though. Do you do. Oh, I'll have it after actually. No, for the main. Oh, for. So, for, I don't. Um, so those are only mains? Yeah. I don't eat pork. I don't okay. eat beef. Okay. Uh, oh, we've actually we've got eaten. none of our chicken there. Yeah, no chicken. Uh, we've got maybe a chicken burger. We can go instead, like chicken. a Korean style one. 
Or yeah, a, chi a chicken burger would be better. Chicken burger, that should yeah. be fine. It's like a yeah. Korean style one. Chicken burger, so it's cucumber, kimchi, iceberg, yeah, <laughs> and lime mayo. Yeah, and it comes with the fries as well. Yeah, 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 of course. Can I have the seasonal soup? Yeah, it's carrot, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Perfect. I'm gonna have the chicken burger. Yeah, you can order your dessert after. Okay, that's a bit better. all right, no, thank, you. thank you. So, I'm having the soup of the day. Chicken burger, fries, not the best meal. Yeah, but I could have gone out and got something, but the way I'm feeling cold, I need to warm up. I need to contact my friend and see what she's saying. She's waiting for me and I feel bad. So I've got my soup. Mm, I needed this. I needed this soup to warm me up. Needed it, man. The way I was feeling cold. I felt like I was going to get a cold, that kind of feeling. It felt like it was in my bones. But eating this. And I already dropped it on my coat. Thing is, I don't want to take my coat off in cold. Should I? No, let's keep it on. <laughs> oh, this is nice. So, people, what do you think about this Diddy thing that's going on? Did he do it? He definitely did. <laughs> he definitely did. He definitely did it. I feel no remorse for him. No much whatsoever. Like there's too much things going on, paedophilia and sex trafficking and like trafficking of children. Too bad. This world's just crazy. It's like everyone's being revealed, which I'm glad. I'm glad. But yeah. Mm. Needed this soup. I, literally, this is the first thing. I ate half that tuna sandwich and the cookie today. That's all I've eaten. And now this. Yeah, it's fine, okay. thank you. Thanks. Tomorrow I need to eat healthy again. I think I ate, today I ate like a chocolate cookie with caramel on it. Really bad. But literally, that's the only calories I've really taken in, so... Yeah. So I'll go back to Ghana next week for probably about a week. I feel like being back in England makes, makes me realise how much I miss like my friends and that and having that connection with my friends. Because being away, I kind of don't, so I wouldn't say I've left connection with them, but I wasn't seeing them or speak to them on the phone, but it's not the same. It's nice to go out with my friends and you don't get the same joke, like, I met with one of my friends, Leona, the other day. We went into the city centre. And we just were catching so much joke. It was so funny. It was so funny. And I just missed that. 
being away from your friends and family can be really lonely. It's nice, but I feel like sometimes you just need to be back around them for a bit. That's how I feel anyway. I miss that connection with my friends. So I'm just trying to figure out the way that my life's going to go from now moving forward. I really just want my diary of Naomi YouTube channel just to grow. I put so much effort into them videos. The editing takes hours and hours and I know it will come. Sometimes I'm just like, why can't it just like, I just get thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers one night, just wake up. One morning, just wake up to thousands and thousands of subscribers. I'd be so happy. I know it's not only subscribers that see your videos, but sometimes it's just like, you know, I've got 300 subscribers and I appreciate them subscribers, but sometimes I feel like I want more people to see my videos. But I just gotta keep pushing. Oh my gosh, more soup on my coat. This coat needs dry cleaning as well. I need to buy a new coat. I'm gonna be in England for winter. I've got so much editing to do. I've got this video, I've got the other video from last week. I've got the two videos that I recorded today. I've got loads. I've got loads, I've got to just focus on editing now. Because when I go to Ghana next week, I'm gonna record more. I'm gonna batch record as much as I can. much as I can for the Diary of Naomi channel. But yeah. <laughs> I need to buy myself a new coat, man. I, th I want a fur coat. There's this nice fur coat that I saw on ASOS. I'm gonna order it when I get back home. Because I don't wanna keep on wearing this now. I love this coat, but I need a new one now. morning Pete so it, it oh the wrong thing so it is Friday morning and I'm just about to do my makeup and get ready to go for breakfast so last night I was telling you that I was meant to be doing a video I was doing what was I doing I was meant to be doing my a video for my um the Diver of Naomi channel and I bought the pyjamas to wear because it was like a it's called like I can't remember sleepover sleepover chats or something like that and the pyjamas are too tight on my arms so I didn't get to do it so I'm going to have to do that when I get to Ghana next week because yeah <laughs> I was quite mad but what can I say eh? I should have bought a medium I don't know why I bought a small so I've just primed my eyebrows with Refi Brow Sculpts. That kind of just get, gets them to set. Am I gonna put on any foundation today? I don't think I am. I'm just gonna do a kind of non-foundation look.
done my main like concealing but then I go underneath my eyes with a brighter one this is the NARS just to give your under eye just a bit of a brighter look so that's the NARS and this is the medium deep to caramel So it just adds like a brighter look. I don't wear this every day. On a normal day, I would just probably wear the, the LA Girl one. But it's one that I went for the other day when I was in Sephora. It's the Makeup by Mario one. It's meant to be really good, but they're sold out in Sephora and also online. So that kind of shows that it's really good. then this is the Fenty setting powder in Honey 05 so then I just use that underneath here I don't really set I just pack it underneath then I probably just go over the nose go over wherever I put concealer so that's that and next this is the Fenty matchstick matchsticks in espresso 05 so here i just go there do the same on that side and go down my nose So when you're doing your, what do you call it, what's this, contour, you want to go up, take it up, because you want to lift the face. Let's see. Is that right? Yeah. And then... Now I'm going to use a bronzer, it's called Maka Mami and that's also by Fenty 08, I love this. So with this I just, just go around, so I don't um, conceal my forehead so I'll just use the bronzer instead. that doesn't look too and I put everything else on so I usually use this again to just add a colour a bit of colour around my eyes 
I use it as kind of as a base. And then, the palette that I love, it's probably one of my favourite palettes for um, eyeshadow, is the Huda Beauty. And this one is a warm, a warm matte confessions. So it's got colours like that. So very autumn colours. But I wear, it, I wear it all the time, I love it. So next, I'm going to line my eyes. So this is just the Scandal Eyes by Rimmel. I really like this. I always use that Rimmel. And then this is the ALF Top Liner. So blind that eye, you see it. So now I just have to do the other. I've got another, I've got another top liner, but I just want to use this out. So, so that's done. So next up, I'm just going to put, I'm putting on lashes. Actually, where is, oh, I was going to put on lashes. Oh yeah, I am going to put on lashes. So now, before I put on lashes, I always put on a bit of mascara. A lot of people don't put mascara on when they put on lashes, but I feel like it gives, if you just put it straight on, it kind of weighs down your own eyelashes. So I kind of put it on there just to give it a kind of a base. I like to put a bit of mascara on my lower lashes, even though I've hardly got any. So I don't know if you can see the bit of mascara I managed to get on the little lashes at the bottom. <laughs> Now I've got to do the top ones and I put on the lashes. I don't put a lot on, I just put enough just to give the false lashes a bit of support. That's enough. And now put a bit of glue on these falses. I don't really wear false lashes as much as I used to. I do like when I have my own lashes now, the way that makes my eyes look. But, because I was recording yesterday, oh, I had lashes on, so I've got no way to travel with these home. I've got the box, so I have to put them back on. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to put on, like I said, I'm not putting on fan, well, I didn't put on any liquid foundation. I've got this Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. So what I'm going to do is just use this brush. And go. Go into the air. Just dab it all over, really. So... That is it, I think, for the face. And now I've just got to go and do my hair. No, actually, it's not it. I need to do my lips. One minute. So, for my lips, I'm going to use this Rimmel. It's actually <laughs> for your eyes, but I use it as a lip liner. And then I'm going to line. So they're live and I'm going to use the NYX, the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the colour Free Spirit. I'm going to put it back on the lid. That's that. So 
So, I'm going to now put on my Fenty Beauty Gloss, which is Gloss Bomb Heat, number three. I love this. I need to buy some more. I love this. So, I just... Watch out the top line. Oh, that was too. <laughs> so that is my face complete. What do you think? That took me like 25 minutes. So it's time to put all these stuff back. And do me here. So yeah, that's what I do for my makeup. This that is more or less a full face for me. I need to invest in some primer and some setting spray, especially before I go back to Gardner, because when I'm trying to record, even when I'm in the house, I get hot and my face just looks like it's melting. I was watching some of my videos, my latest video that I put up on my Diary of Naomi, which I recorded in Ghana like four months ago. And my face just looks shiny and I don't like it. So before I go back, I need to invest in a good setting spray. I don't know if I need a primer, but I need a good setting spray to spray on after. And I used to have all that, but I didn't really use it, but now I understand why I need it. So... I put my lip gloss away. I did. So. I love makeup. I know, like everyone's like, "Oh, you should be natural. You should be natural. Natural girls are the best girls." I can be natural, you know, and I don't wear makeup every single day. But if we want to wear makeup, just allow us. Low us now, just low us, just low me now. Not even low me, low us, women. Men always getting into women's business and that. Always in that woman business. <laughs> so yeah, now it's time to get this hair sorted. But should I just go to breakfast first and come back and do it after? <laughs> because what time is it? I'm starving. It's 8.50. Actually, let me put on all my rings. Mm, I'll do that after. No, I'll do it now because I might forget them. So... I wouldn't usually wear a ring on my my wedding ring finger because I'm like oh it's it's jinx I don't even know if I care about getting married now I don't know if I'm unmarried like that you get me like at the moment I'm just loving life why don't that why that none of them going on today and we're all going on yesterday None of my rings, because it's morning and my fingers are still a bit swollen. Well, they're not going on right now, so I'll just wear these. Should I do my hair before I go down to breakfast or what? Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do it. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> but it never looks the same on a day-to-day -day basis. What's gonna have to do for now? It's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to do. So I need to get ready now to go to breakfast. So it's five past nine. I'm more or less ready. Hairs did. Hair did. Nails did. Everything big. Is that how it goes? Hair did, nails did, everything big. Yeah, so what I've got in here is Gymshark. It's actually a gym outfit, but I wore it down on the on the 
coach because I thought he was just comfortable. Oh, this is. It's easy. So I thought, yeah, why not wear this? So I think everything's packed up more or less. Everything is packed. Yeah. Let's go and get breakfast. My hair doesn't look that bad now. When I looked in the mirror, it didn't look that bad. But it literally took me 35 minutes to do my makeup and my hair. That's not too bad, is it? 35 minutes. It's not too bad. But it's not too bad at all, at all, at all. I need to lift now, honestly. Oh, shit. Yeah. What's the name? Naomi. Now, Mayor Robinson? Yeah. What country? Jamaica. Thank you. So, just go through there? Yeah. Excuse me, do you like do any vegetarian options? Vegetarian options. Or or chicken or anything. Do you do any other sausages than pork? I will do a vegan sausage. You can have that. Do you do omelette? Yes. Can I have that and an omelette? You have an omelette, you want to add a vegan sausage and omelette? No, just separate, just an omelette and a vegan sausage. You want vegan omelette, what do you want to add in your omelette? Like mushrooms, yeah. onions. Mushrooms and onions. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Alright, thank you. So, I'm going to get some of this. Got all my food. I bought some granola, some yogurt here. Here's a cinnamon swirl and some fruit. But I'm trying to eat some fruit first. Ever taste the poon? I don't think I like it. It's really soft. I thought prunes would be like hard, like dates. They're really soft. Ordered some vegan sausages and 
butter or the vegan sausages and omelette. 